Code leader Raila Odinga has threatened to boycott the 2017 general election if the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, remains as it is. In an exclusive interview with KTN's Sophia Wanuna, Raila has said there would be no point in going into an election where, according to him, there would be no guarantee of a fair outcome. Take a look. So thank you, sir, for welcoming us to your house. It's, it's good welcome. to be here. Yes. Let's begin with the recent controversy around the pension and the president refused to assent to the bill, the retirement package, arguing that you and Kalonzo are very much active in politics. And the analysts looking at it who have argued indeed they are still very active in politics. You are. And in 2017 you could be very well in the ballot paper. Do you not agree with the reasons why the president refused to assent to that bill? You know, uh, so I um, really uh, don't really want to talk too much about this subject. This is a silly matter um, because it is something that is so obvious. And the, the bill went to Parliament, mm -hmm. it was debated by members of Parliament, and it was approved. Now the hypocrisy is that you see some of the same members of Parliament now outside beginning to sing a completely different tune because their boss has now refused to, to sign. You ask yourself, where were they? Why did, did they not say those things in the House, yeah. in, during the debate? I mean, it is very flimsy to say that you are not active in politics and therefore you are not entitled to benefits, mm -hmm. retirement benefits, because these benefits are for services rendered, are for something that you've already done, not what you are doing currently. Uh, so, I, was I a Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya? Yes. yes. Was I a co-principal with President Kibaki? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why should Kibaki be entitled to his benefits? And I am and I not. So the argument would be Kibaki is done with politics completely, but in the event that there is a President Raila Odinga come 2017, so then how do, would that pan out? Does the President Raila then earn the salary as President and still continue to get this pension? That would be the... Uh, at that point, then somebody could then say, you, now you are a president, then you now stop the pension until you retire mm -hmm. at that time. But I'm not president, and I'm not a prime minister. In any case, the position of a prime minister and vice president have been scrapped. I gave an example of just next door, uh, Tanzania. Uh, my friend, uh, uh, Frederick Somaye, was the prime minister of uh, uh, President Mukapa. Mm -hmm. uh, they went out, Mukapa retired because of the two-term requirement. Uh, so my, uh, of course, was not bad. Mm -hmm. He ran subsequently against uh, uh, President Kikwete and lost. Um, was again uh, on the ballot um, uh, uh, subsequently. But he, even right now, as you know, Tanzanians are going for election this year. Mm -hmm. uh, President, uh, I mean, Prime Minister Somaye is uh, 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 campaigning right now for a CCM ticket. He's one of the candidates, okay. meaning that he's remained very much active, active. Uh, politically. Matters graphed. Uh, the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital upgrade uh, the deputy president's name has popped up. Your name as well has come in there. And a joint saying that you received uh, some money from a Chinese contractor. Would you set the record straight for us on that one? Absolute rubbish. I mean, I don't even know how my name came into this. And a himself has denied that the tip he gave to, to Parliament mm -hmm. contained uh, my name in that regard. Uh, he's saying that uh, that thing was, was doctored somewhere. Uh, uh, Albert knows it. It's not worked for me for over 10 years, and over 15 years. So you've never received any money from the Chinese to fund your campaign? Never received any money from the Chinese for, for the campaign. Let's talk about the OCOA bill that was launched recently. And one of the key um, reforms you seek there is on elections, electoral reforms. Beginning with the IEBC, you have time and again poked holes into their credibility, saying they should not, as currently constituted, be the ones to run the 2017 elections. If nothing changes between now and then, would you vie? Everybody, not only Kenyans, but even the international community, will tell you that uh, they have no confidence 
in IBC as currently constituted. They don't think that they have the moral mandate to do uh, an election uh, given what they, they did last time round. And there's no evidence to show that uh, something is being done. I was telling the, the chairman of IEBC the other day that you take the entire commission to the state house to meet the president and brief him on what you are doing, but you don't see it necessary to invite us uh, as the opposition to sit with us and, and tell us what, what you guys are doing, yet we are actors. So you're acting as if you are just a, an agency of the state. So would you so participate in an election then, still? We, no, we will not participate. You will choose not to? Choose not to participate until a proper system is put in place that will ensure that the people's uh, verdict is reflected in the outcome of election. 2017 have, uh, will be 20 years since you first sought presidency in 97. So what is it about this presidency, this seat that you fought hard for these 20 years? What is it about being president? Because on the other hand, there are those, as you just said, there who'd argue he's power hungry. He just wants to be president. What do you tell those people? I tell those people to read history properly. In uh, uh, 1997, we ran uh, for the first time, and uh, we, we lost. We were a number of candidates. Uh, some of them are no longer with us, like late Mamalo mm -hmm. uh, Here, late, uh, five years later, I should have run. But I, I said, no, I'm not running. Mm -hmm. You ask yourself, because time is running out. If I was desperate, I would have run in, in, in 2002. But I did not run, because I, don't, I didn't think it was an opportunity to run. I backed Kibaki. We only disagreed on the issue of Katiba and the Constitution. And that is why we, broke, we parted ways in 2005, when he, he fired us after the Chungo beat Ndizi. Then, and that's the only reason why I ran against him. If not, I would have supported him in 2072. Okay? So but we disagreed yeah. yeah. where I ran, and I beat him. And, and everybody in this country knows that I, I, I won the elections. Okay? Yeah. And, 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 and the people are saying, Fahambish, if I was uh, power hungry, I would not have accepted a grand coalition solution because I, I won the elections. Yeah. Huh? And my victory was stolen, but, but, but I agreed to compromise and say, okay, we'll share power, I'll be prime minister, you'll be the president. Why should you? Again, yeah. last time round, you know what happened. So, so uh, I, I, what I'm trying to do is, I'm basically trying to show Kenyans that, look, this is not for Ayelo Dinga, but we must create a system where the people's votes count. Because tomorrow it will not be Raila who will be rigged. It is going to be you. In 2007, the Rift Valley region supported you overwhelmingly. In 2013, they appear to have turned their back against you. What mistakes, if any, do you see you may have made in that particular period of time to have gotten that to happen? In 2013, one of them, their sons, was running as a... Um, uh, of, of the Kalenjin, was running uh, as a uh, uh, deputy president and they voted that ticket. That is understood, what is called the homeboy mentality. But I got majority of votes among the Turkana in the Rift Valley, among the mass speaking, the Maasai, the, the Samburus, uh, I, I won the majority, and the lawyers who live in the, in, in, in the Rift Valley. You were recently, you've been seen with uh, Isaac Ruto, who's been opposing the deputy president in that, uh, in Rift Valley. So there are those who look at it as you're trying to join forces with those who are opposed to the deputy president, so you could, in essence, perhaps, say, cut him to size. Is that how you're looking at it? Politics is dynamics. It's dynamic. Politics is never a static game, you see? And in politics, they say that there are no permanent friends are permanent enemies. Uh, and they say also that politics makes of strange bed fellows. Right. Um, uh, I don't have enmities among the Kalijin community. I have still very many friends and supporters.
Do you know they nicknamed me Arab Mibay. Yes. What? what? Arab Mibay. Arab Mibay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the son of the lake. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and and uh, there's still some of them who are very close to me. Uh, the other time it was just like, you know, uh, this is uh, a, home, a homeboy who is there, who, who, who is running, and, and, uh, and understood. We never disagreed yeah. at all, and uh, we, we, we we're still friends. Are you open to join forces with the likes of Isaac Ruto and others to make more inroads in that region? We work together with them, whoever wants to work together with us. You see, I'm the only candidate who is able to break this barrier and, and get support from several other communities. Yeah.